it snowed. I really don't know why it keeps snowing, but it keeps snowing. I have a daughter homesick today and she's wanting some French onion soup. So I'm doing my little quick version of it right now. So I'm gonna whip that up for her. It's not at all the same, but it's similar enough that, you know, it gets the job done. So that's what we're up to right now. are going through this part of my cabinet thing and I am pulling out all the stuff and I'm going to go through it and see what I want to get rid of. This is mostly filled with scarves. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of scarves up here. Um, the majority are folded, but some of them have just been thrown back in. Um, and I have these like bin things of different um, things I wear to bed or loungewear. So I have way too much. This one alone is just filled with like 
lounge pants and many of them I've had for 153 years. So that's what's happening right now. Okay, we're starting with scarves. These are all scarves. Ah, all right. personal. What do you guys wear to bed? <laughs> um, you know, I've had the really nice things to wear to bed. I have the, you know, the special things to wear to bed. Um, but in general, I tend to just wear <laughs> comfortable clothing, like loungewear kind of things. You know what I mean? Um, and I have way too many. Like the minute I have a t-shirt that's older and real soft and comfy, that goes into my wear to bed pile. And it's just huge and I don't wear a tenth of it. So I need to really pare down what I got. And I think I want to actually try to like up my, my bedtime wear game. I mean, I know that seems a little ridiculous, but um, yeah, why not actually have a few sets of nice things, you know? I mean, I do already though, especially super summer stuff. That's in the other cabinet. <laughs> like they're all little things, but I don't know. Do you guys have the same problem? Do you have like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons?
some progress. I have about 73,000 places in my house I need to do this exact same thing with. This seems to be like a spring thing I like to do. Generally, I came in here to go through my winter clothes to basically get rid of and discard the ones that I just didn't wear this year. And I figured if I didn't wear them this year, then what makes me think I'll wear them next year? So that's where I'm headed next, I believe. Yeah. Okay, that side is what we just did. Now I'm working on this side. And a lot of it is like underwear and special things to sleep in and so forth. So I'm not gonna be showing a lot of it. My phone's ringing. My mom, call you later, talk to you later. Hello. Okay, finished talking to my mom and starting in on this. And this is all under things I just never wear anymore. I don't get dressed up nearly as much as I used to. Like I really don't need the Spanx and stuff hated them to begin with so I'm not really doing that anymore so this whole bin is filled with that kind of thing and just hosiery and you know slips stuff like that that I need to go through so I'll be doing that first without you Making progress. I have a ton of things still to that I need to go through, either give or throw. Um, yeah, but I'm getting there. Things are happening. This is getting even better. I've got a long, long way to go, but thank you for being here with me on this because it really helps me to get motivated to do this kind of thing. Still working on organizing my jewelry drawers um, since my sale and so forth. I just need to work on the organization of it. I have it generally figured out, but not completely. So I'm working on that. And as soon as I have that figured out, I'll let you know and I'll show you what I've got. And my shoes need to be completely overhauled. And oh my gosh, I mean, look, I've got stuff like this thing of necklaces. Oh my God, no. So the scarf, a random scarf sitting there. I guess I should put that with my scarves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, things like that are happening. Oh, there's another one. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you have a similar situation in your life. Not, I hope you do. Okay, I'm not saying I hope you have a similar, you know, junky mess, but I'm hoping that you have done something similar to this and you understand what I'm going through here and it's just nice having you with me. <laughs> Thanks guys, talk to you later. Bye.